Hi guys, this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is I Want My Capricorn Back. This is Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising between now and the middle of April 2018. So you will be watching this video if you recently split up with a Capricorn and you want to get them back in your life or you want to build a bridge back to your Capricorn. There is an assumption that this was not a highly acrimonious split that it was not a highly negatively charged split and that you haven't reached the point of no return and you would know what I meant by the point of no return if you've been there or if you are there. We are going to look at how the Capricorn is currently feeling. We are going to look at what the Capricorn wants. We are also going to look at if the Capricorn has been able to move on and what you can do to start to build the bridge back to reconciliation with your former Capricorn partner between now and the middle of April 2018. So how is the Capricorn feeling right now? It seems to me that the Capricorn may have felt, may have felt a bit burdened by relationship. They may have felt like their former partner was not reliable or consistent or focused uh, or serious and uh, they were tired of it. You may have also felt like this about your former Capricorn sun moon rising when you split um, and now the Capricorn is feeling quite free and liberated uh, because their life has been made more simple. So they're having this burst of a type of burst of jubilation. And this is how they're feeling now, between now and the middle of April. They're feeling quite good because the burdens and the responsibilities that they have had in the past in their life, and it doesn't necessarily mean just with you, especially if there was a family dynamic, they might feel a bit more relaxed because they have less to deal with than they did before. A part of them is also missing, oddly enough, this is coming through. A part of them is also missing the responsibility that they had before. They're missing being the leader. Even they're missing being looked up to and they're, they're missing this kind of authority as well. So it's two-sided. It's a type of freedom, but also they're missing this power, you could even say, that they had in the former relationship, what they want. It seems, it seems that the Capricorn would like to have the relationship back, but they're not sure how to go about doing it in a way that they're going to be satisfied and comfortable with. They don't want things how they were before and they may have felt like they were missing um, a certain level of sensitivity and emotion in the relationship but they feel like a big part of it was them they know it wasn't necessarily their partner and this break has given them the opportunity to start all over again and paint a new picture of themselves with someone else uh, it's like they want to start it over. They feel like if they're with someone new, they can achieve this level of intimacy that they perhaps did not feel like they had with you, but it, they don't feel like it was their partner's fault. They feel like it was their fault. It's like you know them too well now. You know them too well. You know their strengths and their weaknesses, and this is making them feel a bit insecure and unstable unstable whereas they can go and start over with someone new and make a new impression about who they are but they don't know who that new someone is 
or they don't feel comfortable really with trying to start over. It's an odd situation. They don't really feel comfortable with trying to start over either. So let's see if they have been able to move on or if they're ready to move on, if they're ready. And then we're going to look at some strategies for you. So in terms of moving on, It seems to me right now, as we look into this window of time, slip of time, they are not quite ready to move on. Not now, because they have unresolved issues. Yeah, they have unresolved issues, and it's almost like they want to keep tabs on what you're up to and what they're doing. Especially if they think that you have moved on or you no longer want them to be a part of your life. This is a big part of if they will be able to move on. So let's be clear. If you, if they have the impression that you will move on without them, they will be more ready to move on. If they have the impression that you haven't been able to move on, then they will be hindered in their ability to think about moving on. So it seems like they hope that there's still the door open to work things out. This would be my first take of what I see on the table. There's a challenge of roles in this relationship. Who's responsible for what um, type of energy around this? Yes, we have the marionette, we have the card of bird, and then we have the phoenix. So it does look like there's this aspect of control. Who's responsible for what? The Capricorn having uh, felt quite burdened. This is the phoenix feeling like they have a chance to start over and make a new impression uh, in their life. And perhaps you can play on this type of concept and energy if you would like to build a bridge back to the Capricorn saying that more speaking about the past, that it should have been more of a situation of give and take between the two of you, that perhaps you should have taken, taken on more responsibility than you did, and that you're ready to take up this task of being more mature, even they would like to hear that. So I'm getting they would like to hear that and not leave all the responsibility on their back. Um, but then you also would have to talk to them about some control issues because it seems to me like uh, the Capricorn wanted it two ways. They weren't very clear. On one side, they really liked being in command and in control. But then on the other side, they may have been attacking their former partner about uh, their motivation, not being motivated enough, not doing enough in their life. Um, so there were these kind of issues. So if you would like to build a bridge back, you would have to have a very clear channel in terms of really identifying what the issues were around responsibility, control, and authority with the Capricorn. And this is between now and the middle of April 2018. Hey, you guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You just hit the like button or subscribe, which I think is like up there around there. And I will see you guys back here next month. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.